This is Pam's Long Lake Lou and Nor the Mess. Lake you <laughs> can't speak. So her long are a lot more bouncy. Um, a little bit on the light side, more squeezable. So I'm gonna hold this up. Try this with one hand. <laughs> So they do flop around, very floppy. Um, if I hold on one second, so yeah, they're very bouncy <laughs> to say the least. Um, they're more, they're not as thick as these, they're really thick and solid on top. But these, I mean, so if I hold it like that, they start flopping. A lot of weight to them, but um, other than it's not really that heavy though. Um, the latex is a lot more thinner on this set than the than these. So if you want more of a movement with her leku, hold on, let me. It's they're more sway. So they do bounce around. Um, so yeah, if you want, definitely want more bounce from Pam's set, this will be your winner. And this is on a regular office chair, so that's how long they are. They're almost touching the very, very bottom. Um, yeah, these are more of a recommendation if you want more of, like, this way. It kind of does stay crease like this, though, because the, um... Because the latex is more thinner. But other than that, um, yeah, the latex is thinner. There's less stuffing. So when I went from this set to that, I started getting concerned that there was something wrong. <laughs> and one of my bottom tails likes to stick this way. And it's kind of annoying. Even though I pack it flat, it just keeps wanting to do this. Um... That's all I can really say, but if you want something that's more flowy and soft, then this will be your winner. Um, again, warning, Pam's Leku, I don't know if you can see, is very skin textured, and it's wonderful. It's wonderful and all, but if you're painting it, stick with something close to your skin tone. And this yellow, I mean, yellow vanishes under skin tone colors, so stick with something close. That's why I went skin tone with that one. And yeah, that's that's about it. That's all I can really say about these. Um, I haven't really yet worn them. I trimmed them down a little bit. I actually want my ears covered, unlike what she says, cut around the ear. I want it covered <laughs> underneath. And, um, and underneath... I don't know if you can see, they always have, um, like, kind of like expanding foam on the inside to keep it shape, and so you're supposed to hollow some of it out, but, um, I only hollow it a little bit out because I want to keep some support in the dome, like, when I travel, so that's the main reason why I do that. Um, yeah, besides the typical complaints of it, loving the crease because the latex is so thin, and, um... And sometimes the tails like to <laughs> like to go their own direction. Like that one likes to stick out that way. And I mean, I guess it gives it a more natural look. Because I mean, if you dad like you in real life, it won't be perfect. It won't be flat. And um, she always nails it with the skin texture. But again, be cautious. Um, green likes to hide into it. Uh, reds and everything. But yeah. So again. If you really want to go long and flowy, 